speaking of changing the stories in, in people's heads, another area that I was really you know, interested in asking you about is when you're describing this time period in your, probably your early 20s mm-hmm. and, you know, in your social circles, you know, guys are, are going out looking for sexual partners there. I think you used the term closing the deal. Yeah. Um, and I'm wondering about your experience of performance anxiety. And in particular, maybe you can share some of the things that would go on inside of your head um, when you went to engage with a potential partner, but felt like you would not be able to close the deal. What were some of the things that might be going through your head at the time? Sure. And I think that'll be a two part uh, answer. The first part is about around being around those friends that are all talking about, uh, you know, their sexual conquests or like I, they're, they're the partners that they're in. Or um, I think for to be able to engage in these conversations was very much where I had to actually pretend that I was actually also going through uh, similar situations with them, even though it wasn't true. And uh, yeah, just having those conversations like boys being boys and just talking about it um, was just one area where I was like, well, if that's normal and I'm not living normal, then what am I living? Right. So that was, that was one thing that was important for me. Now, whenever I got to uh, a more intimate a relationship with someone and we got closer to potentially having a, sex, a sexual intercourse, there was a lot of fear. There was a lot of fear, Mark. I was just very much in my own head, knowing, believing for sure that it wouldn't work. So w- either she finds out and I feel way more ashamed that I'm already really ashamed or I cut this off and uh, then I may be perceived as a as a player or someone that maybe is hard to get or hard to please. And then it's kind of like a protective m- mechanism, right? Mm-hmm. So I, um, I preferred that option to save face, if I can say it that way, and, and uh, not have to address the issue. So it was kind of um, unfortunate that I, I went that route. But, you know, when you're dealing with fear, shame, guilt, it, those, those were the solutions that came to my mind to be able to deal with this, address with this, and perhaps not even address the solution or perhaps give it a try because I was so convinced in my story that it wouldn't work. So what's yeah. the point of going further and trying? And, and, and if, if I was right, then what shame would I experience that I did not want to experience with that girl? And what would they go and say to whoever? Again, all stories, right? that would put me in such a position to uh, expose my erectile dysfunction. Yes. And, and it sounds like what you're describing is almost like you made the decision that you were not going to be able to perform. So mm-hmm. then it was just like, an, like, what's my exit strategy? How am I going to avoid having to even get to that point? Right. Because it wasn't even a fear that it wasn't going to work. It was a knowledge. It was that mm. deep inside of you. Right. Correct. So, the, so it was just like this anticipatory anxiety right? and not wanting to engage. Correct. Yeah. Did you feel a disappointment in yourself afterwards or did you feel a relief? Huge disappointment. Uh, Huge disappointment because, um, you know, every time I would get into a relationship and it would be intimate, the feelings were true. I was really in love or I was really uh, interested. And uh, to have to break someone's heart for the case, to be able to exit from, um, you know, not exposing my erectile dysfunction was very much heartbreaking for myself as well. So I was like breaking my own heart as a result of that process. So I was disappointed, but it's far more than the word disappointment. I was heartbroken. Mm -hmm. Um, Again, just feeling feelings of sadness and, and more. It was like a, like really like a devastation. Devastation is probably a bigger word. Yeah. 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 